Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Hi, my name's Andrew, and welcome to Short Lived Cinema. Today, we'll be looking at the 1998 film The Truman Show, starring Jim Carrey, a now classic and seemingly prophetic film that captures the essence of what is real and what isn't. For my analysis, I will be looking at what I believe to be the most important scene in the film, Truman finally finding the truth about his life. This particular scene is so moving and heartbreaking at the same time. Although he finally is able to break free from the shackles which bound him to safe haven, his understanding that his whole life was a lie and nothing was truly real to him is what really encapsulates the essence of the scene. These ideas are further materialized by the brilliant acting of Jim Carrey who displays emotions of anger, sadness, and confusion in this scene, and only reinforces how great his performance was. However, I'm not here to talk about the cinematic or narrative elements of the scene. I want to focus more on the thematic and ideological elements, more specifically, the underlying philosophical concepts which exist in the context of the film. And in order to do this, I must also contextualize the scene within a greater framework of the film. To help with this analysis, I'm going to need a little help from a friend who knew a lot more about philosophy than I do, French philosopher René Descartes. Descartes is instrumental to the understanding of what philosophy is in questioning or accepting the world around us. Descartes began questioning reality in his search for understanding and truth in his book Meditations on First Philosophy, originally published in 1641. Now let's be honest, Descartes' meditations is a tad confusing and can throw its reader in quite a mind loop. Moreover, there is a lot of information, and I know not many people would want to look through it all to understand it. So, I will try to sum it up as quickly and easy as possible. It is in Descartes' first declarations and meditations that he states that he does not know what reality is, where he believes he has been deceived to accept certain truths and beliefs. He goes to solve this by removing what he calls a posteriori knowledge, or in other words, knowledge from experience. To Descartes, his own experiences are false because they came from his mind rather than from any other truth, and thus, he trusts neither his senses nor his reason, as it is entirely possible they are merely mistaken about the deliverance by an untruthful source. By the end of this philosophical journey, Descartes famously came up with the phrase cogito ergo sum, or to translate to English, I think, therefore I am meaning that although he can doubt the world around him, he could not doubt that he exists himself, as he is the one doing the doubting in the first place. Now, after that small philosophy lesson, how does this all relate to The Truman Show, and more specifically, Truman Burbank? Well, just as Descartes doubted his reality, so does Truman as the film progresses. He becomes uncertain about his life and the people who are in it after seemingly running into his thought-to-be dead father. Moreover, his skepticism grows as he begins to predict occurrences, controls traffic, and even ends up holding a knife to his wife in order to gain any certainty in his life. Similar to Descartes, Truman begins to doubt everyone and everything around him, and also abandons his knowledge of the world he used to know, or in other words his experiences, as he believes nothing to be genuine anymore. This all comes to a culmination in this one last scene, where the touch of his fingers against the dome wall confirms his suspicions that his whole life had been a lie. This scene also includes Kristoff, the creator of the show, who sounds akin to Descartes' description of an evil genius or a malevolent demon that exists in order to deceive humans. The film even portrays him as an almighty godlike figure in the scene as he speaks from the sky. I can hear you. Kristoff created a television show that essentially trapped Truman in a fake reality where he's in charge of how Truman's life will unfold. 
which he does by controlling things such as the character's weather and even life-changing decisions such as convincing him through Truman's wife to try for a baby. Kristoff is a malevolent demon Descartes describes, and it is not until Truman starts doubting his reality that Kristoff's hold of him begins to loosen and the true reality is uncovered. And what is further important here, which I mentioned previously, is that although Truman doubted the world he lived in, he never doubted he existed or he was a fabrication in this world, as he was able to doubt and have thoughts. I think, therefore I am. This was further confirmed by Kristoff himself, who states, was nothing real. You were real. It's what made you so good to watch. Now a question some may be asking is why this scene in particular? Well, I chose a scene because it has value to it. It's the conclusion or even the completion of Truman's journey to find the truth. He overcame obstacles and has the courage to doubt his reality and not be succumbed by the offers of a comfortable lifestyle he'd be promised if he stayed. There's no more truth out there than there is in the world I created for you. Same lies. The same deceit. But in my world, you have nothing to fear. Being thrown in unto familiarity in the unknown is more appealing to him than further being provided a false world. His exit in the scene is also quite symbolic, literally walking into a black abyss of uncertainty on his search for more truth. I find it so intriguing modern day films bringing philosophical concepts first thought about centuries ago into a contemporary setting. Although difficult to comprehend at times, putting it through a channel such as a film like The Truman Show can make it easier to understand and provide a deeper context and understanding to any film. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about how philosophy exists as an underlying theme in films such as The Truman Show. The final scene is so important to the rest of the film as it shows the transition of Truman as a man of ignorance to a man of wisdom, who frees himself from the illusion a greater being set for him and thus becoming his own self. The Truman Show illustrates the fact that although there are people who try to control your life, individuality and understanding of who you are is the most important thing. There's no doubt René Descartes wouldn't have been first in line to see this film. <laughs>